Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, um, real quick before I start there, my backup channel is no longer active. I took my backup channel and I transformed it into a new eFed page there. Fucking wild shit there, people, so I only have this channel and my eFed slash former backup channel, my Twitter there, I'm going to put that shit in the description there. Um, with all of that garbage out of the way, it is time for my late, out-of-date, raw review. Pretty fucking crappy show, apart from one segment with Cena and AJ Styles there. The rest was fucking crap. Like, very, very cheap. It's like they were bad by purpose yesterday. It started off with Shane and Stephanie McMahon and The New Day. Um, you know, at one point in time, New Day was funny at, at one period of time there, but now they're just bad. It's very, very, very cheesy. It's unfunny. It's childish. Very bad. You know, at, at one point they were focusing on Shane McMahon's shoes or something, you know. Shane McMahon starts dancing. It was whatever, you know, if you're a 10 year old kid, you might laugh at that. There. Stephanie was about to dance. I would have enjoyed seeing that, but of course they cut that shit off to bring out the vaudevillains, which was a pile of fucking shit ripoff there. I would have loved to see Stephanie dancing. Give us something. If we're going to watch this garbage, at least give us some kind of visual stimulant or whatever the fuck. Big pile of childish crap to kick off the show there. They talked a bit about the brand split. They didn't really give us any information, but we, we've already seen the brand split before, so we know what's going to happen there. First match, the New Day defeated the VOD villains by disqualification. A pretty short match, Bullet Club jumps in, attacks the New Day pretty much, so... Like, it wasn't terrible, but... You know, a minute match, it ends in DQ, not very exciting. This is gonna set up New Day against the club, which has potential, I guess. Second match, the Usos defeated Bree Zango. Uh, in like a minute, and then Breezango and Golden Truth were brawling or whatever, so I guess this Golden Truth fucking garbage is going to be featured on every episode, which is sad. Very, very, very sad. Then Roman Reigns came out. He, he cut like a, a short promo, two, three lines there. Seth Rollins came out, he runs to the ring, runs away, runs back to the ring, runs away, runs back to the ring, runs away. There's your fucking segment for the world title. This is the segment for the world title and that's the story. Just the fact that Seth Rollins is running away from Reigns, that's your big story. For the world title match, are you fucking serious? That's the story. Fucking cheap, man. Very fucking cheap. In the third match, Rusev squashed Zack Ryder. So another minute-long squash match. Titus O'Neil comes out, punches Rusev. He's the next Captain America that's going to fight Rusev again or whatever there. <clears throat> Personally, I'm not excited with Titus O'Neil. I think McMahon kind of turned him into damaged goods when he got rid of him, you know. He might win, but I, I highly doubt it there. 
In the fourth match, Enzo and Big Cass defeated the Dudleys. This was okay, I guess, but not good. It was like a very, very basic tag match. Not really exciting, nothing exciting at all happened in the match, so if you enjoyed that, good for you there. Me personally, uh, boring tag matches with fuck all happening, you know. I'm not excited with shit like this anymore there. And then we had the Cena and AJ Styles moment. I made a vid about this last night. Very good. I thought Cena's promo was good. AJ Styles and the club beating up Cena was very good. Um, you know, people are pissed off. We get a good moment. And people are raging for some reason. Oh, Cena's going to bury him. They made AJ Styles look like a fucking star last night when he did that. That fucking took him and put him to the next level straight up. You know, he looked really cool when he did that. That might sound lame there, but he did look cool when he was beating up Cena. They made him look pretty goddamn cool there. So let's see what happens. Let's wait to see if Cena will quote-unquote bury him. You know, it might end up being some pretty damn good matches, so... As far as I'm concerned, what happened last night was pretty fucking awesome. So I'm not gonna hate on, on the fucking segment without knowing what, what's gonna fucking happen in the future there. In the fifth match, Dana Brooke defeated Natalya in, in a minute. You know, this is what it was. It was minute-long matches throughout most of the fucking show. What the fuck was that? And it's cheap. Dana Brooke beats Natalia in a minute. How am I supposed to be excited for this? How am I supposed to tell you it's a great show if it's a bunch of throwaway minute-long matches? How? How am I supposed to put a positive spin on this? I can't. In the sixth match, it was supposed to be a technical wrestling match. Ziggler comes out, he kicks uh, Corbin in, in the groin or whatever, and that was it, disqualification. So this was supposed to be Ziggler getting his revenge for getting hit in, in the gnarls there <laughs> at Extreme Rules. But really... You know, we had a feud revolving around a plant. We had a feud revolving around a fucking chair. Now it's a feud that has to do with low blows. He gave me a low blow. I gave him a low blow right back, buddy. A again, what the fuck kind of feud is this? What the fuck is wrong with this company? A feud for the world title. It's about a guy that's, that runs away, that's it. Fuck all else. It's a guy that's running. And, and, and now you have a feud about fucking low blows. The entire feud revolves around fucking low blows. Who's the fucking retard coming up with these stories? Can we get something entertaining? Something with a little bit of intelligence? You know, the Cena and AJ thing was good there, but the rest is complete fucking garbage. Like what? What the hell is that? It's like they weren't trying. Like five, six matches are a minute long. Why? Who's booking this? Are they purposely being bad on purpose? Jesus. In the main event, Sami Zayn, Ambrose, and Cesaro defeated Jericho, Owens, and Alberto Del Rio. This was an okay match there, but for a main event, two weeks in a row, they, they put the main story near the end or the beginning of the third hour around there. And they just put a mid-card match in the main event, you know. But what happens with this? 
is it feels flat. You know, like the match was okay, but it's like a random match that you'd see on SmackDown. It doesn't have a real main event feel to it. So the show ends and you're just left with a, <laughs> a feeling that it's just flat and uneventful. That's how I felt with this main event. The match itself was okay, but... So the Cena stuff was good, very good, I enjoyed that. Main event was alright. The rest is complete fucking trash, complete fucking shit. Minute long matches that are worthless, completely fucking worthless. You know, I, I, I want to see the fucking ratings for this show there. It's going to be an interesting rating, but... Apart from the Cena shit, this was straight up garbage. We got 10 minutes of good stuff with Cena and Styles and almost three hours of complete trash. So this show sucked. <laughs> 10 minutes doesn't make a three hour show become great. It sucked. It is what it is. Until next time. Peace.